This is where day two now. Dave's coming to pick me up. We're going to the actual conference today. Oh man, I wish I could get a coffee. I should have grabbed a coffee this morning. Well, there's a coffee bar over there. All right, so we got a coffee. We're ready to go. Today is Dave's, uh, Dave's like speech that he's given. We're gonna go check it out. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna go find Dave. Does he need to cross the street? And uh, maybe he's already here. All right, we're one minute away. Dave's here. He's somewhere. Mm. This coffee is terrible. But, uh, yeah, I don't care. I need some gloves. It's really cold. Uh, it's colder than I expected, actually. It is really fucking cold. <laughs> mm. so Dave's giving his speech today. Gensler just fucking dropped some comments that crypto exchanges are probably not qualified custodians. They're really fucking going after things right now. You know, probably best just to sit in treasuries and make 5%, you know. But we're off. We're going to go see how things go and fuck, it's cold. I didn't do anything last night. I slept. That's right, me too. I went home slept. Yeah, um, I went to the gelato thing. Oh, you did? Okay, so we just got uh, kicked out. There was a fire alarm. Uh, Dave has gotten his stuff, and uh, we're just waiting for a press pass. All right, so here we are. Uh, made it into the uh, Sport Castle. We're looking for the press place. Where are you speaking? The DeFi stage. DeFi stage? That's uh, 16. We're straight, we just go straight down here. All right, here. Let me, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, let me put this on you. We'll just put it on your jacket for now, and then we'll switch it later. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of my greatest pleasures is just cutting through everything. Do you have food? Oh, yeah. Nice. This is way bigger than uh, oh, the Oh, wait. This is definitely not it. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Do you know where the DeFi stage is by chance? The DeFi what? Stage. Stage. Good question. I was wondering a similar thing. I will say I don't know. Does anyone know where the DeFi stage is? The mine, he said. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. Frax does not pay a doesn't pay a cent for anything. anything. Nothing. No booth. Oh boy. Frax doesn't say pay a cent for anything, does it? I know, it's a fine. Forever. They've never had any marketing use. Like, that's why I was saying last night called the people that came up with like limited edition Frax merch. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Is this the uh, DeFi stage? We're hoping so. I'm hoping so too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's supposed to speak at 9, so yeah, I'm, I'm just getting set up. Are you speaking today? I'm well? speaking at 9.40. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, we can show. I'm ready. Hey guys, Jack from Polygon here. You should make sure to listen to the next episode of Flywheel Pod with my friend DeFi Dave. <laughs> now you can use that as your intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah true, 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 of course, yeah. Hey guys, Jack from Polygon here. Make sure you listen to the next episode of Flywheel Pod with my friends DeFi Dave and Capital K. It's good. Yeah, we were like, so later. Hey. <laughs> I'm good, huh? Yeah. A blessing disguise. I, I'm late. Hi, so when do I... I'm up next? Yeah, we're just running about 20 minutes late. Oh, uh, we're still 20 minutes late? Yeah. Um, Hello. Hi, everyone. What um, time are we supposed to have? 9.40. 9.40. This is the DeFi stage, right? Yeah. Okay. So you'll be on right after these guys. Okay, cool. So you're very excited Oh, this is perfect timing. So it's 25, not even in the EU. Because you want to know, there are some regulations not yet. Yeah, I love it, the whole frax so team out in the flesh. This is very rare. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't... <laughs> 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 
Um, you have to ask Roberto, and and if not, you should just like hound him to send him from Sweden. So the result, in a way, was very imminent, was immediate. In the U.S., there was a lot of discussion around labor freedoms, standardized exchanges, preventing FDS from happening. In the EU, we already most of the tokens. Oh, uh, do you have the water? So I can take a sip of. Do I wait here to get mic'd up, or do I wait over? The, do I wait over there to get mic'd up? I love this is such perfect timing. They're doing EU regulation. Uh, Stablecoin regulation, something to be feared or welcomed. Yeah, that one. That's it for me, and I think. I think we're done right at the time. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, excuse me. Can you hold this? Yeah, you Um, is it supposed to be on? All right. Is this on? Yo. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hello. All right, word. All right, stable coin regulation, something to be feel, feared or welcomed. A few moments later. It will be too little too late. Forget being an ugly baby because the baby will be dead on arrival. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, hi. Good to see you. I like your jacket. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think it was good. It's good. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to scare him. <laughs> that is my son. Yeah. How'd, what'd you think? It was good. Yeah, I like it. I yeah. I was. I did not mention Frax once. <laughs> I mean, it was like such a. It's such a different area, even though it's nuanced. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Hi. Oh, thank you. I have a question for you. So about yeah. stable coins. Thank you. Yeah, hi. About stable coins. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Like, so nicely like, researched. Very informative. It's like, amazing. Especially Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. The like, picture is like before and after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also from corporate world. And it's kind of like uh, very similar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> from, like, very buttoned up environment. <laughs> Love crypto space. So about the CBDC versus stable coins. Like what's the, like, what will be the major reasons why the government can go with the CBDC? Um, it's very complicated in the U.S. Yes. because it could it could go either way. Like, if like, what is it that CBDC does that? So the CBDC would it's like, it's so issued by the government. it would be issued directly from the Federal Reserve. Yeah. And so right now there's kind of like a chain of command of how money is created. Some yeah. of it, most of it, is made from commercial paper. So it's banks yeah. lending out, you know, making loans. But usually the Fed just when they lend out money it's not to people it's to banks so this would like lend money directly give money directly to people but that makes a really like really uh like a really big surveillance tool uh -huh. like CBDC. yeah yeah because it's being because one issuer like there's one centralized issuer and that's the central bank but with stablecoin issuers it's you have a lot of different issuers and so there'll be competition yeah yeah and then the, but then the solution for it, they can have some sort of like a, like a government controlled mixer tool maybe, no? No, they, no? I don't see, they would never do that. Yeah. 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 It would, yeah. I had a, uh, yeah. so, so. Right, well, thank you, I don't want to take Oh, uh, no worries. And it sounds like from the government perspective, like how, can, like how crypto lawyers and communities can advocate for the stable coins, like what will be the, what will be the, um, like what will be the winning argument? I think the winning what argument. I'm Navin. I'm at ETH Denver. It's a lot of fun. Just saw Dave speak. We go back way back. We start. We both started in crypto around the same time, 2016. Uh, we were working at IQ Wiki together. Uh, at the time, we were known as Everpedia, and we kind of grew into crypto together. Like uh, with uh, with Everpedia, we found that we got traction once we moved onto the blockchain. Uh -huh. And we started getting a lot of coverage of uh, blockchain and our editors were covering a lot of blockchain topics from the Ethereum ecosystem, like you know Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, all of these pages were getting tons of views. Yeah. So then uh, recently this year, we expanded onto Polygon. So now we're fully into the ETH ecosystem and uh, every edit is recorded on the Polygon blockchain. 
and the EOS first, right? yeah we were up, way back in the day we were on EOS now we're on Polygon fully uh, Ethereum ecosystem and it's all gasless editing which is really cool oh, nice. yeah we use Open Zeppelin for that yeah was uh, what was Dave like at, at the PDF? <laughs> he was the best man he's like he's the same guy he's not a guy who changes like you know he's not a guy he's like oh man i'm DeFi dave i'm a completely different person he's always been so optimistic so encouraging so pro crypto that guy is an evangelist he goes 24 7. Was, uh, and, and sam was a fucking slave driver <laughs> no 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 no, no. Sam, yeah. sam he's a hard worker but he's a great mentor he's taught us all so much uh, uh he's built um, two amazing tokens with iq first and then frack second um, building a lot of great stuff. I, I, I hear from the Frax core team that like, Sam is like, we're, you know, we're just going to work, and we're going to build stuff, and like, it's going to be no speed right stuff. Definitely. Everyone builds fast, so yeah, like, that's, the, point, that's right? the thing. Like IQ Wiki, you know, one of the things that we just hit recently is we integrated GPT-3. Yeah. So basically, uh, one of the things that's really time consuming is creating, you know, we have 5,000 word articles. For example, our board API Club Wiki is 5,000 words. Yeah. It takes a while to summarize something like that. So we've integrated GPT-3 for summaries for search engines. And we're looking at a lot of different ways to integrate further. Yeah. One area that we're really excited about is translation. So one of the big issues with crypto right now is that there's so much knowledge that's siloed. Crypto really is global and the markets are global. You know, everyone can talk numbers. But the, the information, a lot of it is siloed off. Like for example, in Korea and China, there's a big language barrier from English. So I think AI has the potential to really improve translation. Yeah, and like the, uh, we have really specific uh, words and linguistics that we use. Definitely. That like, aren't just anywhere else, right? So like you look at some of the, like, the phrases, like even some of the names and stuff, we just come up with stuff. Like it's developers coming up with like new words and phrases to describe stuff. And uh, I work with AI, so like I upload all of our video stuff to uh, Descript. And like it gets probably like, but like most of the crypto stuff, it just it just doesn't know the words or it doesn't know the context. I think it's context driven, right? We're really one hundred percent. You know, an AI can like listen to a transcript or like listen to some audio and try to like pick the words out with a with a high level of uh, confidence. Um, but uh, if it had context of what you were talking about, it could probably do a better job, right? Oh, definitely. So exactly, that's how that's that's one of the things is training the models, right? Yeah. So I think with AI, the unique thing, so traditional tr translation is not really geared, it's not tailored. So that's what I'm talking about is like, I really agree with what you're saying is that one of the big issues is crypto specific terms. But if you have AI working with crypto specific terms and you have editors who are using crypto terms, like for example, with IQ Wiki, mm -hmm. you can really get an AI that's tailored yeah. to that kind of information. Yeah. And then that, that will really revolutionize translation. Yeah, that's cool. Has it been a, uh Staking in the IQ Frax pool? Yeah, yeah, IQ Frax pool is great. Um, the you know the FXS gauge. <laughs> if you want to vote, make sure to vote uh, for all the flywheel guys. If you if you if you're uh, if you're looking for a gauge to vote, liquidity is rising. We got a couple million in liquidity there. The uh, really good. Definitely. One thing also with Frax ecosystem is BrainDAO. So the DAO that manages IQ, we've staked about over a thousand. I think we're almost at like fifteen hundred ETH staked. Mm with Frax ETH. So our treasury is growing and you know we're supporting the Frax ecosystem so that's one thing that's exciting as well. Uh, what's a funny story about Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you know it's funny like just today even like there's always something new with Dave. I just looked at his arm and he's got a new Arizona tattoo. I was like that's awesome man. The guy the guy is always creative. Uh, great talk today. Uh, yeah the new tattoo I was like whoa. <laughs> There's some epic stories. For sure, man. Yeah, I mean it's it's been it's been a fun it's been a wild ride with Everpedia for sure. And then now becoming IQ Wiki. Uh, like, you know, some of the like I think some of the some of the funny stories is that like we used to all live in like one hacker house. There's like this one penthouse yeah. um, in uh, in Will off of uh, Hillgard in LA. And that was funny. Like uh, one time we had our top dev and he used to sleep on a banana box. <laughs> So this is uh so that's something that we remember like with the bear market. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in, we're not like SPF. 
<laughs> no Bahami and stuff. No Bahami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's like sleeping on a bean bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, well, cool. That's... So tell me, what's up? Kila. Kila with Chidao. Kila with Chidao. How long have you been in Chief? Since the beginning, man. Yeah, me like, too. Yeah. I, I was at Chidao like this week. Oh, yeah? yeah? Damn, yeah, those are good days. Like, Polygon just popping off? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, my buddy called me, my buddy Nick called me and was like, you gotta get, you gotta come here. Like, yeah. Put some assets in, we're gonna farm the sheep. Yeah, exactly. I've been meaning to buy some because Mark Cap's kind of like gone out of it, but I think it's gonna come back. I look, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do feel like we're a little uh, undervalued here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look, that's the way the market. That's the way the market is. Yeah. For for us, our main focus is making sure that the protocol has deep liquidity for my and is also profitable. Um, so that's kind of our focus. We know that like cheap price will follow as long as we are successful and like we're profitable, all that kind of stuff. So that's that's kind of our standpoint. So what's it been like working with Frax? Actually, it's been freaking amazing. Because I mean, the thing is, for us, and you know this, liquidity is super expensive. Yeah. And to do it alone, you're paying you're paying a lot. By being able to partner with you know uh, protocols like Frax, you can really drive down the cost of liquidity a lot. Yeah. That is both like good for both projects because then we have deeper liquidity, you have deeper liquidity. Um, we paid less for that liquidity. Um, you guys are also what I like about it is like. You don't have to go through all of these hoops to get things done. It's like you have a conversation with the Frax team, everything looks good, they'll do their due diligence and then ready to go. So it's not, you know, like not months waiting yeah. to get something together. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it's quick, it's quick. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like you guys, you guys are doing fantastic within the space. I mean, um, yeah, hats off to you guys. The guys are really good. It's, uh, do, you like, do you like being paired against Frax Baseball? Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, for us, again, it helps it helps us lower the cost of liquidity, especially when we like when we were starting off. Um, you guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, we have a gauge. Yeah, we have a gauge. And so I know that uh, you guys have been helping helping us out a bit with uh, with that. Uh, we are we are coming we are coming a little bit harder now in ethereum as well so we're probably going to see a lot more like interactions with the uh, with curve and the frax base pool and everything along those lines kind of deepen that up um, and so yeah we're excited about it yeah. all right that's good cool perfect when you get to course about frax